It's kinda at this point we're revisiting this game to check out the generational updates. Cause I already did the playthrough on it. It's one of the most ancient ones I've done. And I'm not saying you should watch it cause it's a bit rough, but the game's still pretty cool by itself. So let's see what the Quest 3 has to offer here. First I need to go out and put a battery. I don't even know if I'll be like copying the exact same footage that we did with Quest 2. What was the code for though? So from what I see, it's definitely much smoother with some birds and bugs walking around. I don't think that was before. Yeah, stuff are like much sharper and it feels more alive. Besides the robotic monstrosities. I don't know how much you remember, but the earth you knew is no more. This world is not safe. The shift has torn it apart. And you have a powerful enemy. But it's interesting that this game is... What's this noise? Pretty old by nowadays standards, but still delivers a decent content. <laughs> My name is Father. I'll tell you more later. Now, we must get you to the safe house. That could be very useful. Experiment a bit with it. Can you hit those signs? Still to this day, one of the best ball mechanics. They're here. I think my goal is to see the safe house and then maybe a first level if we have time. We're almost there. Just through that door. Then I'll tell you all you need to know. Yeah, yeah. You've seen what the world has become. 
The shift tore it all apart. One day, everything was normal. And the next... Well... It was like this. I believe we can find a way to reverse it. And that is why I brought you back from the void. But first, we have some other things to attend to. Now, let me show you your new home. So let's see upstairs. That is your inventory. You can store almost anything you can pick up in it. If you want to put your bow away, it lets you do that too. Didn't the villain have scouts? And maybe they are those actually. <laughs> I'm not gonna spoil you the game. I will... do some mission. Where was it? Ah, yes. This is a map of the known world. It doesn't much resemble the place you knew. Using this, the creatures you fought earlier were sent by Mother, a sentient AI, just like me. There is much to tell you about her, but for now, Knowing that she is out to kill you and destroy me will have to be enough. She is getting closer and closer to our safe house. It is the only place where I can keep you safe. So we need to stop her. Yeah, it's all about to find the passwords and stuff. Must activate a cloaking device to make the safe house invisible to Mother. Unfortunately, you can't even get to the device before you have higher security clearance. Well, you're not getting through here. Better try another direction. I mean, I'm always looking forward to a more texture-based update, though it's still nice there's some support after all those years, you know? Yeah, but where's my bow? Hello? Am I confused about the controls? Okay, cool. <laughs> Are they? Okay, that's interesting. I've seen enough, I feel like. <laughs> I mean, it's still the same game as I remember. There is more environment based stuff going on this time around. Like the wind, birds, effects, and anti aliasing. But besides it, it's pretty much the same. I feel like some games deserve a second go on the playthrough side. Although this one is missing an ending for some reason. I don't know if that was ever fixed or patched in. So it's kind of like an incomplete game. Though it was still some cool memories and good to see it's still around for an old school folk like me, I suppose. <laughs>